creators, welcome to a new video on pulling data from multiple websites. So one thing that I found was that a lot of the things that I like to mention aren't traditional technical indicators. A lot of the indicators that I use and I advocate for are things like this, like looking at vcdepth.io for MDR, looking at order depth, uh, looking for uh, large volume activity, as you can see here. And these are the kinds of indicators that you're kind of required to just sit at home and just watch. However, there is a way that you can turn these data into something that can be alerted to, so that you do not have to stare at this all day. You can just get alerts on your phone like that. So today we're gonna go into exactly how you can do that so that you don't have to just sit at your monitor all day just staring at a chart hoping that a certain value pops up. So this was suggested to me by Cody in my professional dating day trading group day trading group that I had created. And this group comes with the price action and volume guide when you get it. And th in this group, we're constantly creating new tools, we're looking for new ways to trade, and uh, pushing ourselves, pushing each other to become better traders. So if you're interested in joining that group and in getting the price action and volume guide, you can click the link in the description below. So here is the 2.5% BTC MDR. Now I found that whenever this went above 5%, it was typically a good time to buy, as you can see circled. Typically whenever this went below negative 5%, it was typically a good time to sell. These are just the thresholds that I come up with uh, because I found them very helpful. And you know you can see beautiful time to sell here, blue is price, beautiful time to sell here, price dumped, beautiful time to buy here, price rose, uh, price rose and you think, when price begin to fall? No, MDR was still bullish, so price continued to rise five, uh, even further. So it's really important to be alerted to this when this occurs, when certain conditions are met. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find a way to get alerts for whenever the MDR goes above plus 5% or below negative 5% on the 2.5% range. So to do that, first click on Bitcoin. And what you're gonna have to do is add the Chrome extension called distill.io. Uh, this, is, this is what was mentioned to me in the Gravity Discord. Now what you wanna do is click select parts of page. And what's gonna pop up is something that looks like this. I like to just hit that, it makes it a little bit easier. And there are two ways you can get MDR on the vcdep.io site. You get it visually, visually here, uh, and then you also can get it uh, here as well. There is a difference between these two numbers that some people have noticed. That's because this will update every one to two minutes. This will update every five minutes. So what we want to do is pull the data, meaning get the data that updates every one minute, and then get that in a, in, in a system of alerts. So we can get it through email, we can get it through, you know, however we want to get our, our alerts. So what you want to do is click on that, then you're going to hit save selection. And this will pop up. All right, so let's name this. Uh, what we're doing is we're tracking the 2.5% BTC MDR. I'm gonna set this to an interval. I want it to check the website every one minute. And I want it to send me email alerts. I want it to send me audio and pop-up notifications, as you can see here. Now, the conditions that we have are, I want, you're gonna to wanna to set it to that, if we see that the MDR is greater than five, I wanna be alerted. And if I see that the MDR is below negative five, so it has a number less than negative five, I wanna be alerted as well. So this is what yours should look like. So this is saying if any of these conditions are met, you will get an alert in your email uh, or you know, however else you'd want to do it. Uh, these are for paid customers, but you, email is for free, so you can get that one uh, if you would like. Now I'm gonna hit save, and this is gonna activate the alert system. And what you're going to see about to pop up is the number of the MDR. And we are now pulling that data to the site. It's at negative 6.69%, as, as you can see. And this, again, is going to update every single minute. And if you ever want to update it quicker, you just have to hit check for changes. When you hit check for changes, it's going to do it even quicker. So I'm going to get a new value if there is a new value. Uh, right now and there it is so we just got an alert because MDR went below negative 5% to negative 7.18% so that was that bell that you had heard uh, we can also change that to other kinds of audio such as what's this one okay so it looks like we're in like a tropical rainforest how about this one 
Okay. Buzzer. Oh god, that one's terrible. I think Bell Striker, Ding Dong's probably the best. What if I just spent the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes of this video just doing this the entire time and been like, April Fools! Okay, okay. Enough enough fun with the audio audio alerts. It's, it's going to be the, the doorbell one. Uh, this is not an April Fool's joke. This is an actual tool. <laughs> but I was just saying, what if I just spent the rest of this video just clicking on... <laughs> okay, okay. Back on track. So we're now getting alerts for this uh, every minute. And yeah. And if you ever want to see the history of these alerts, all I have to do is just click this. Click show more. And we get that. Additionally... We get email alerts, and you can see, uh, this is what I'm about to show you guys how to use, um, but you can see I'm getting alerts for the 2.5% MDR, the previous and the present. Okay, that audio is just going to keep going off. Um, and what you can do with this is you can get this on your phone. So you don't have to even look at your computer all day for these MDR alerts. You can grab your phone, and you could set alert. You could set it so that uh, on your phone your email gets, gives you a notification. And whenever you get an email from Distill, that will notify you on your phone. It'll pop up, and you'll see that uh, you got the alert. And that MDR is whatever the, you know, the, the MDR is at. Another thing that you can do if you would like, instead of using thresholds, which is what we've been using, uh, so I was just putting, hey, if it goes above plus 5% or below minus 5 what you can also do to add is spikes. So whenever the MDR spikes very quickly up or down, that can also give us a signal to buy. So such as here, you know, it jumped from negative 7.01 to negative 2.06. From here, it jumped from negative 0.31 to 7.43. So what I want to do here is, if the number, so if the text, uh, if it's a, if it has increased by more than, let's say four, and if it has decreased, um, if it has decreased, has decreased by more than four, I want to be alerted. So I'm gonna hit save. And I now get both alerts of, okay, I'm, I'm gonna silence the audio one because that's just gonna keep going off every single minute. Bye-bye. So what I can now get from this, uh, let's go back to, to this. What I now get is whether this goes to one of my thresholds or if it increases or decreases by the amount that I set. So that's all set there. And what we're going to look at now is not just MDR alerts, but let's look at large volume alerts. Now, to set this one, it's going to be a little bit more complex, but it's not that hard, to be honest. So what we want to do with this is let's go back to Distill. So I'm going to click that Chrome extension, distill.io. I'm going to click Select Parts of Page, and you can see we already have uh, that one set up right there. I'm going to click this, and I'm going to click uh, this. Okay. And I'm going to click Save Selections, and we are going to create a Binance uh, Large Trades. I want it to check every two minutes. Now, if you want, you can also do this for uh, BitMEX. So you could, you could look for big trades on BitMEX as well. That would work well. And I want it to send it to my email, and uh, let's, let's, good in, let's do in the good old audio notification. So this one is going to be, like I said, a little bit more complex, but I think that um, you guys should be able to, to, um, to understand it. So I'm going to click Add Condition. So what this is going to do is if the text, so if the text that appears has BTC, so what, what that's telling me is if the uh, second, as you can see, it's EVX BTC. If it says BTC, then what I want to get is actually I'm supposed to click this. I want to click a compound, add compound condition. So you want yours to look like this. And this is the model for what we want ours to look like. Any text has BTC, then all. Uh, text has BTC, yes, and then true if matches all. So true if matches all, correct? Uh, has, so we want this to be, let's say more than 50. So basically what I just did, guys, was if it says BTC, so if there's a large trade activated that is more than 50 Bitcoin, then I want to get an alert. So I want this all to be true. Now, what I can also do is do this but for USDT. So if the text has USDT, so that's, what that's going to tell me now is we've just been screening for over 50 Bitcoin, you know, when you get the trades here. But I also want to see anything over $200,000 of a trade on, you know, USD Tether. 
uh, for, for that to pop up as well. So for that, I'm gonna do text has USDT, and I'm going to add a compound condition, and that is going to be true if matches all. That is correct, yes. Uh, let's do 200,000. And this looks correct to me. I think my, oh, has number more than, yeah, has number more than, that was important. Text has m number more than what you want. Truth matches all. Yep, truth matches all. Text USCD has perfect. So then our, our alert is set, and let's save it, and we now have a large trades monitor. So let's see what it can do on its first run. Uh, let's see what it gives us. Okay, so 10.25 XRP BTC was the first uh, in input that was pulled. So I'm gonna check for changes just to see the other coins uh, that are going to pop up as well. And I'm hoping for an audio alert. There's the good old good old audio alert showing that the uh, that it's it's working. So yeah, we just got an alert and I just got in my email as well. This still alert and the good news, what, what I really like about this is that you can see they, they segregate the different kinds of um, of alerts you have. So this one's just for 2.5%. So it's showing me the six alerts I have for the 2.5%, just grouped in under one email. And then this one's just for Binance Large Trades Monitor. Uh, we don't need to look at the previous, just we want to look at this. We can see we just had a large trade of 15.74 Bitcoin on FET BTC. And if I want more, again, I can just, you know, click check for changes, give it 10 seconds, and it will probably give us something different. And uh, you know if it's over two hundred thousand dollars, okay. So this was over five Bitcoin, but if if we ever get a trade that's over two hundred thousand USDT, like such as this, uh, that will pop up as well. And the reason that's going to pop up is because I've added options. I have it set down here, as you can see. Now something a little bit more specific. But let's say you don't want to screen, you know, all uh, all these coins. You can go to favorites, and you can you know uh, favorite some coins. And then you can have the monitor, what I just showed you, just do that only for those coins. Uh, and of course, if you only want to screen for BTC trades, then you can do it for only BTC. Uh, if you only want to screen USDT, you can do it for only USDT. The reason I wanted to do it for both USDT and for BTC is uh, I, I want both of those currencies to pop up if any large trades uh, do end up occurring. We have another uh, 10 Bitcoin trade on BQX and that goes to uh, my email. So you can see they're popping off right now. Yep, uh, so, and what you can also do is, let's say I'm only interested in a specific coin alerts even, I, I could do something like this, I could type in FET, I only care about FET, and then I could screen it for alerts here. Uh, I can also go to, you know, I can go to BitMEX and I could look at alerts there as well. All right, so now I wanna show one last thing that's probably the most helpful way I think that you can use this. I mean. Uh, I think the most helpful way that I've found in, in how to use this. So using the 2.5%, what I want to do now is thresholds are great, you know, for one coin, but I'm curious about a series of coins and their MDRs. So what I want to do for this is hit distill. I'm going to hit select parts of page. Now, what coins do we want? Oh, I forgot to silence the audio things. So that, that audio guy is just going to keep going off. All right, where's the audio? You're, you're going gonna, you're gonna to go bye-bye. All right, bye. Okay, now where was I? Uh, here. So every time I try to click, it's because I, I keep getting these alerts. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to click on. Um, I'm trying to click on the extension. Okay, now we have the extension. Don't get too many alerts because then they're just gonna, you know, blow up your computer. So I want to track Bitcoin uh, MDR. I want to track the Ethereum MDR. I want to track the Ripple MDR, and I want to check the the Litecoin MDR. Hey, why not? And I'm gonna track uh, those MDRs here. As you can see, so this is what I'm tracking. I'm gonna hit save selections. So this is the 2.5% multi MDR. You know, it's gonna pick up uh, multiple MDRs. Okay, this all looks good. Uh, set to the one minute. Now condition wise, what do we want alerts for? Um, we could do if any of them are above 5%. So just simple, just as simple if any of them are above, you know, or below negative five like that. And then what we could also do is spikes even, you know, uh, I, I can put that one in, I can put that one in as well. Uh, yep, so that would be text. I'm going to put, hey, if the number increases, if the MDR increases by more than five, I want to get alerted. 
And if the number decreases by more than 5, I want to get alerted as well. It has a number that decreased by more than uh, the delta. All right, great. So we have threshold for uh, it reaching 5 or minus 5 on those four coins. And then we also have this as well. I'm going to hit save. And we have the multi-way MDR that's screening for four different, um, oh, so we just got a USD. Someone just uh, did a $166,000 USD trade, USDT trade. So here it is, awesome. We have the uh, MDR set up, and you can see the first one that we have is Bitcoin. The second one that we have is Ethereum. The third is Ripple, and the fourth is Litecoin. And if we go just to make sure that that's, you know, that these numbers are, are correct, um, let's refresh the page, of course, and uh, Let's go look at, oops, let's go look at that. So it says Bitcoin's currently at 6.61, uh, Ethereum's at 1.38, 7.02, and 4.14. And yeah, that looks just about right to me. 1.59, 7.02, and then 3.68. So it, this one's 7.02, this one's saying it's 7.02. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and then 4.14, this one's saying 3.68. Th these are constantly changing. Um, but of course, the most updated that you're gonna have isn't gonna be on the website itself, it's gonna be here. Uh, because this is pulling that data constantly. So you're going to be getting the most up-to-date data uh, on this. And if you ever want to use this, all you have to do is just go to your alerts. So I click here, I have updates, and I can see here Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, uh, and you know, that's Bitcoin, that's Ethereum, that's Ripple, that's um, Litecoin. And um, yeah, and then I, I can get those alerts whenever, wherever I want. So I think my inbox is probably, yep, Okay, quota limit reached. <laughs> well, that was easy. Uh, but yeah, so this is a free service, and if you want to upgrade, you can, uh, so that you don't have to, so that you don't have to be restricted to just 30 emails. And instead of emails, you can also get alerts just to pop up on your uh, desktop as well, so that you don't have to just look at this data all the time. You can do whatever you want on your computer, and you just get an alert that pops up uh, when when uh, when that occurs. There is there are so many ways that you can use this. Uh, probably plenty of other ways that I haven't even thought of. And I think that if you want to use this on for volume, if you want to use this for order depth, if you want to use this for price change, volume change, uh, or, you know, uh, liquidations or, or Twitter posts by someone, you can do it. And it's really not that hard uh, with distill.io. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by, by what they offer, and I think it's pretty cool how you can track any data and uh, its change. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, you guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, then you can go check out the price action and volume guide linked below, where we're going to be talking about this in a little bit more detail, and we're going to go into other ways that you can use this as well. Um, but with that, happy trading, and uh, get those alerts working.